Welcome back. So we're using the SVD to compute this eigenface representation of human faces, of pictures of human faces that have been arranged into column vectors of a matrix X. So we have a bunch of pictures of people's faces, um, 2,400 of them, as columns of X. Each of these little 2D images have been reshaped into a very tall, skinny vector with 32,000 dimensions. And we've used the SVD to find an orthogonal basis, an orthonormal basis of eigenfaces that you can then add up a linear combination of to reconstruct human faces. So this is a more compact representation, potentially, or at least a different representation of the structure uh, of information in human faces. And so we, dis we discussed that you can take a new image X and you can multiply it by your basis UR, the first R columns of your basis transposed. And what you get out is this little vector, this little R dimensional vector alpha. And alpha is essentially like a fingerprint or a mixture, an eigen mixture of those eigen faces that you would need to add up to get that person's face back. Now what's really cool is that you can actually use this for image classification. You can use the information in alpha to tell if two people are the same, if two pictures of a person are the same person or a different person. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply, I'm going to take two people's images, I'm going to multiply them into this space, and I'm going to plot where those points live in these alpha coordinates. Okay? And that's going to be pretty, uh, pretty neat. And this is actually, you know, at least morally kind of the basis of what is done in image sciences, um, like, you know, if, if Facebook wants to tell if this is person A or person B, you could in principle use this technique. So now they use neural networks for this, uh, but, but in principle you could use eigenface classifiers or you could classify in these eigenface coordinates. So I'm going to just pull two people from the, from the database. I'm going to pick person two and person seven, just two people. Uh, I'm going to take the whole library of all of their faces, subtract off the average face, remember because we always are mean centering our data, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to project into the sixth and seventh eigenface direction, or sorry, the fifth and sixth eigenface direction. I'm going to project onto principal component five and six, so I'm literally going to pull the fifth and the sixth column of U, and that's going to be where I'm going to project those images into those coordinates, and I'm going to plot all of person two and all of person uh, seven in those two coordinates, the PCA5 and PCA6 coordinates, okay? Pretty simple. I literally just compute like PCA chords one and two of these people, and then I plot them based on which person it is. And what you can see, this is pretty remarkable. Um, let me just make these a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is uh, a picture of the different people. So uh, person one and person two, uh, or two and seven, whatever. These are the two different people that I'm trying to tell apart. And when I take all of their images, so there's 64 of each of these people's images, if I take all of those images and I project it into principal component 5 and principal component 6, this is how the data falls out. And this is really remarkable. What you can see is that this is strongly clustered. All of, of uh, this person are in these white diamonds up here, and all of the second person are in these blue triangles down here. And essentially, the, because there's such clean separation, I could define a classification algorithm. So if I had a new picture of this person, if the picture embeds up here, I know exactly which person it belongs to. It belongs to person one who has these white diamonds. And if the picture ends up embedding down here, it belongs to person two who uh, belongs to these blue triangles. So you can use this for image classification. And this is super simple. This is just two principal components, two of these columns of U. I get extremely clean classification accuracy. Um, I could probably get almost 99% uh, accuracy building a classifier in this space, okay, for these two people. That's pretty remarkable. Now, let's say that instead of doing these two principal components, I did, uh, instead of modes five and six, let's say I did principal components one and two, right? Because those are even more energetic. Maybe my data separates even better in principal component one and two. If I run this, it's pretty interesting these points actually don't 
separate nearly as well. They're all mixed up and all over the place. And this is a really important uh, point, is that in eigenfaces, the first few eigenvectors, the first few eigenfaces, u1, u2, u3, generally speaking, those capture all of the features that are common to all people. All people have eyes and nose and mouths and have kind of an oval face. And then principal components four and five and six start to give you the features that actually differentiate people. Maybe I have more eyebrows than another person or maybe another person's nose is a little you know, longer or shorter. Those get encoded in the higher uh, order modes that have lower energy because there's a lot of energy in the features that all of us have. Principal components one, two, and three capture a lot of, of the variance of the data, but that's what makes us all the same. Principal components four, five, and six are more the features that make us all different, okay? And so that's why you get such nice image classification and separation when you plot in these uh, higher principal component five and six space, okay? So pretty interesting, uh, and you can actually use this for, for classification. Okay, so uh, in another lecture, I'll show you how to do this for superheroes. Um, so it's kind of a, a fun example where instead of these Yale faces, we're going to use pictures of action heroes. Okay, thank you. <laughs>